Okay, I'd like to welcome everybody to the study session um, for the Scottsdale Unified School District Governing Board. Today is January 11th. The time is 11 11.07. And uh, we'll have a roll call beginning with Ms. Kirby, please. Pam Kirby. Tim Hartman. George Jackson. Barbara Pellipper. And Bonnie Sneed. All members are present. We have a quorum. Um, we don't have a slide. Well, we've done this before successfully. Uh, we will address the presentation. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, at this time, uh, I need a motion to convene an executive session for um, item 3 ABC uh, for the purpose of conducting an interview with Dr. A. Denise Birdwell for the position of district interim superintendent and for discussion or consultation for legal advice with the attorney or attorneys of the public body regarding item 3A above pursuant to ARS 38-431.03A3. And for discussion or consultation with legal counsel to obtain legal advice in order to consider its position or to instruct its attorneys regarding item 3A above pursuant to ARS 38-431.03A4. So moved. We have a motion. Second. Second. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 That motion passes 5-0 and we will adjourn at this time to executive session, which will happen in the conference room. Hey, thank you, everybody. Um, welcome back to the Scottsdale Unified School District Study Session. Today is January 11th. The time is 2.50. And uh, we'll do a roll call. Ms. Kirby. Pam Kirby. Kim Hartman. George Jackson. Barbara Pullerberg. And Bonnie Sneed. All members are present, and there is a quorum present. Um, this part of the agenda is possible board action, 4A. The board may vote to offer Dr. A. Denise Birdwell the opportunity to work with the district as the interim superintendent pending a mutually acceptable work agreement to be approved by the board as well as a background check that meets the uh, district's criteria. So I would like to start um, by making a motion that um, that we do offer Dr. A. Denise Birdwell the opportunity to work with the district um, as an interim superintendent pending a mutually acceptable work agreement to be approved by the board as well as a background check that meets the district criteria. And I just wanted to have a little bit of an um, announcement before we vote to um, say that I'm proud of our board members for the collaborative way that we've been working together for the deliberative, deliberative fashion of um, everyone who's been involved in the process. And um, so I, I do believe that um, Dr. Birdwell will commit to, to stabilizing the district, to continuing our initiatives, and that she has the skills necessary to um, perform what the board as the most important uh, functions in the, in the next six months. So, uh, is there a second? I will second it. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And that motion passes 5 0. And with that, I make a motion to adjourn the special meeting. I'll second that. Was there any other discussion that anybody wanted, anybody wanted to do? I'm just not putting anybody on the spot. <laughs> anyone else want to make a statement? Okay. <laughs> um, did you make a motion to adjourn? I, well, I, I you should you and he said. I'd like to say something real quickly. Okay. I'll be very brief, and we are going to make. I just wanted to say um, <clears throat> the board did come together uh, on this. Uh, uh, there was absolute um, consensus on this uh, interim. <laughs> And um, from this board member's standpoint, there's, you know, we do need to stabilize the district and we need to portray confidence. And I, I think we all believe that this candidate uh, certainly can do that. And we're trying to keep 
certainly everybody's best interest at heart here. That's it. Okay. Um, Mr. Kroger, I guess I might as well add a little voice to that as well. I, I completely agree. We collaborated, we compromised, we talked, we communicated, we did all the things we the board are supposed to do, and we did all things our district as a whole need to do and will do and continue to do. Um, I'm, I'm proud of this process, and and I think we've given um, all the thoughtfulness needed to make sure um, we're going to meet the needs of our students and um, be able to have the choices in front of us long term to do right by SUSD. So I agree with all that, and uh, I look forward to the future. Hi, Mr. Kirkman. Thank you. Um, I believe as um, a board, I'm proud that we worked in a very um, professional and purposeful manner. And um, from the personal perspective, um, there were a couple of criteria that were really important to me in this decision, and that was one, that we ensured there would be going forward stability, um, that there would be um, an opportunity for good communication and continued and instilled trust. Um, so we either be confident um, in this leadership team as well as the interim role, and for that there would be great collaboration moving us forward in the right direction to support our mission. So um, I believe um, we arrived to an answer that achieves those goals. Hello, Mrs. Kirby. Okay. Well, in that collaboration, we all sort of agreed that we weren't going to say anything and just leave it to the Sorry, Sorry. That's my fault. I know. I know. He, if he started it, then it all went. I know. I know. Different. So, face to face. It was really awkward if I was the only one who did it. Sorry. And um, I, I didn't really want to today because I wanted to be very thoughtful about what I said. Um, but now it will look bad if I don't say anything. I don't want to send that message. Um, I, as a board member, heard quite a bit that gave me confidence that she could help us tremendously in some of the areas that the other board members have discussed, those being communication, trust, rebuilding trust among ourselves and with our community um, and all stakeholders. Um, so it's, uh, I probably will have more to say Friday. I, 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 just, I think that what you're hearing is from the other board members is this, this was um, no one's being dragged into this kicking and screaming. So. And I, I'm sorry, didn't mean to. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. It is, it is George's fault. I would have said I felt obligated well. to say something. Um, and before we vote to adjourn, I would like to thank Dr. Tim Ogle and Steve Hyland from ASBA for facilitating, facilitating this process in such a professional manner. Um, I wish I wish everybody could see us work as well as we did with you. So, uh, thank you so much um, for doing that. Absolutely. And we have a motion and a second to adjourn. Please, um, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 That motion passes 5-0. And thank you so much, thank you. Lord.